Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can install data loader for all salesforce in windows. So firstly go to the link given to you in the description box below which is the which is the data loader guide. Now over here just simply go to the install data loader over here then choose your operating system it could be either mac or windows so for me it's windows so just simply go to windows. Now over here you will have two links so the first link is for the data loader so just simply open this on a new tab which is this one we will be downloading this a bit later so just simply go back to the previous tab and click on for windows over here and download it so what we are going to download is zulu open jdk version 11 so just simply click on for windows now over here as you can see this is zulu so just simply scroll down and click on download now over here so over here as you can see there is a whole lot of options so let's go back to the installation guide and let's see what we can download so we can download zip or msi so let's so let's so let's download it now msi is a type of an installer so don't worry now let's choose the operating system over here and choose windows now over there as you can see we have the zip and msi so i will just simply go with the msi now just click on it now so just simply click on it and the download should pop up now just download it in all location then click on save now just simply wait for the downloading process to complete now after it is downloaded just simply click on it and it should pop up then just simply hit next then choose a location and hit next then hit install now it's currently checking for the size so just simply wait for it to complete now as you can see it have completed installing so just simply hit finish now after the jdk is installed the next thing that we have to install is the actual data loader and the latest version of it so again choose your operating system it may be mac os or windows just simply choose it then click on the latest version shown to you over here now it will download in a zip format so it is necessary, so it is necessary for you to have a unzipper or 7zip or winra whatever you may whatever you may use to unzip this file then just simply choose a location to download it now after the downloading process is over just simply go to the location then unzip that file so after it is unzipped just simply go inside the folder now over here as you can see we have the setup for the data loader so over here what you have to do is just simply run the install file a bat file which you can see over here so just simply double click on install now a command prompt should open up as you can see over here so now over here what you have to do is just simply give a name for the directory now as you can see the default is data loader so i will just simply go with data loader as well you can choose any other name if you want to after writing the name just simply hit enter now all you have to do is just simply write yes 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 then enter then again yes then enter then again just simply yes and it's finished now as you can see the shortcut has appeared of data loader on your desktop and if you're unable to see the shortcut you can go to the start panel and search for data loader you will find the data loader over there as well so just simply open it And when you will open this, you will find that there is a command prompt also opened behind the data loader. So, so don't close the command prompt because it is necessary to run in the background while the data loader is active. And don't worry, it is not any type of virus. So just simply let it run in the background. And now as you can see, the data loader has been installed completely. And over here, you can upload your database. So today in this video, I'm not going to show you how you can do that. But for the downloading part, that's it. So thank you for watching. And do like and subscribe to my channel and take care.